So how long does it really take to find and land a new job? There's a popular rule of thumb that a job search lasts about one month for every $10,000 a paycheck that you want to earn. In other words, if you want to make $50,000, your job search should take about five months. If you want to earn $150,000, your job search should take about 15 months. However, there's no concrete research to support that. Here's the truth. Every single job search is different. The important question is how long it'll take you to land a new job. In this training video, I'm going to help you understand the variables that impact your job search so you don't have unrealistic expectations about how long it's going to take to land a new job and set yourself up for disappointment and failure. Now here are some of the biggest factors that can impact how long it's going to take you to find and land a new job. First, there's the economy. The overall economy has a lot less impact than you probably think. In the worst of the most recent recession, some industries were hiring steadily, while hiring in other industries ground to a halt. It doesn't matter whether the economy is contracting or booming. What's important is the health of the industry or industries that you're targeting, because that can have a significant impact on how fast you land a new job. A very important factor in how long it'll take you to find and land a new job is the type of job that you're targeting. How many job openings are there for types of roles that you want to land? And what's the competition? How many people are applying for those types of jobs that you're targeting? Companies typically conduct initial phone screen interviews with about 12 people. If 100 people apply for a job and a company interviews 12 people over the phone, Statistically, you have a 12% chance of getting a phone interview. If a thousand people apply for that job, statistically you have a 0.12% chance of getting a phone interview. Another important consideration is target income. When you're targeting higher paying jobs, generally there are fewer openings and there's more competition, which is why it often takes the typical job seeker longer to land a higher paying job. But that's not always the case, and actually far from it. Another thing to consider is the time of the year. Some industries have clear hiring cycles, times of the year when they're much more likely to hire, and you need to look for the hiring cycle for the industries that you're targeting. For many industries, but not all, hiring usually slows to a trickle from late November, around Thanksgiving in the United States, through the middle of January. Similarly, hiring slows down, but again, it doesn't stop during July and August when many people go on vacation. But sometimes job seekers land new jobs extremely quickly during these quote unquote slow times because there are fewer job seekers and some employers are anxious to hire right away rather than wait till the end of the summer or the beginning of the new year when hiring picks up again. Typically, during the early months of a new calendar year and September, October, there can be more job openings resulting in a faster job search. Here's some other factors. One is your qualifications for the types of jobs that you're targeting. The more qualified you are, the more likely it is that you're going to land a new job faster. Now that's not a reason to avoid targeting jobs that you're not well qualified for. I've had countless clients land exciting new jobs despite missing significant qualifications. But all things equal, when you're less qualified and or making a career transition, you should expect the job search to take longer. Another factor that impacts how quickly you land a new job is your work history. Are you employed or unemployed now? How long were you last or your most recent employers? If you have any employment gaps, why and how long were they? Age, sex, even your height and weight can impact getting hired. While discrimination in the US is legal, obviously it still exists. Personally, having thousands of clients I think have a very small impact on most people's job search. Hiring managers who want to hire people are going to help them to achieve their goals and solve their problems, who are motivated and who are manageable. And when you convince a hiring manager that you're those four things, you're going to get job offers. So far, we've talked about 10 different factors that can impact how long your job search will take. And we haven't even talked about your job search itself yet. So let's take a look at that now. One consideration is your network. There are studies that show about 80% of all people get a job through networking. But different studies use the word networking very differently. So those studies don't have a lot of reliability. But here is the bottom line. 
Most people don't have good networks of people who can introduce them to hiring managers and companies who have job openings now for the type of job that they want. If you do have a network of people who can get you in front of hiring managers, by all means do so. Statistically, it can result in a shorter job search. Online job search. Studies showed that only 5 to 10% of job seekers obtain jobs through job advertisements. Let me say that again. Studies showed that only 5 to 10% of job seekers obtain jobs through job ads. In other words, many job seekers are wasting days, weeks, and even months by searching for a new job online. However, keeping in mind that I've been doing this for more than 10 years, I've had many thousands of clients, I've found that online job search strategies can be very effective if you have a strong resume that effectively positions you and proves to employers that you can handle many of the responsibilities for a type of job that you're targeting. You'll also have more success landing a job you find online if you learn how to find and engage company insiders, mostly people that you don't know, who can get hiring managers and HR professionals to pay more attention to your application. I've found that when you have a great resume and you use those insiders, that about 40% of my clients, that's 40 40% of my clients land jobs using online job search strategies. Now what about recruiters? Recruiters fill about 7% of all job openings in the United States. So that's not a very big number. And recruiters put a round peg in a round hole. If you're making a career transition, you're not a round peg going a round hole, and it's unlikely that a recruiter will be able or even willing to help you. In fact, I've had many recruiters as clients who want to make career transitions, and they had no idea how to do it. Now let's talk about the hidden job search. About 15 to 20 percent of all available jobs in the United States are advertised publicly in some medium. Let me say that again a little bit differently. About 80 to 85 percent of all jobs in the United States are never advertised any place. The single most effective job search strategy is to build a list of potential employers, identify all the potential hiring managers at those employers, prepare a letter that piques their interest, and get that letter in front of as many hiring managers as possible. The more eyeballs you get in front of faster, the more likely it is that you'll land a job faster. In fact, this is the fastest job search strategy. You can often create interviews in just a couple of weeks using this strategy. Another factor that impacts how long it'll take to find a new job is how much time you have to conduct your job search. Obviously, the more time you can spend looking for job opportunities and getting on the radar of hiring managers and HR professionals, the faster your job search will be. Now let's talk about how the interviewing process impacts the length of your job search. Employers are increasingly stretching out the interview process and the overall time it takes to hire a new employee. Many employers are adding additional steps to their hiring process, including multiple interview rounds in which candidates meet with multiple decision makers and others who have input on the process. The time between interviews at one company and the time it takes to make a decision by those interviewers can be substantial. A recent study found that just 24% of all employers follow up within a week of interviewing you. Some job seekers report interview processes that stretch on for four or more months before a hiring decision is made. The length of the interview process itself also varies by the type of role that you're targeting. More senior roles tend to have a longer interview process. The size of the company that you're interviewing for can have a great impact on how quickly you get job offers. Small companies often have a faster hiring and interviewing process and larger companies have a slower and longer hiring and interview process. Something else to consider is that most companies interview six or seven candidates before making an offer to one of them. That suggests that the average job seeker needs to interview with six or seven different companies to get one job offer. Of course, some people get a job offer from the very first company they interview with, and some people need to interview with 10 or more different companies but you should expect to interview with six or seven different companies before getting a job offer. The reason I'm sharing this information with you is that I've had many clients who had unrealistic expectations about how long their job search is gonna take and they quit way too soon. The last factor I'm gonna mention is luck. 
Sometimes the right resume lands in the right hands of the right hiring manager who has an immediate need for your skills and they can quickly interview you and make a hiring decision. When the stars align this way, you can have a new job in a month. But most people should expect their job search to last between three to nine months, depending on all these factors that we've discussed. So what's the takeaway from this training video? What's important in your search is focusing on the factors that you can control. Make sure that you have the most effective resume possible because without it, you just won't get interviews. You need to make sure that you understand and use the very best and most effective job search strategies for a type of role that you're targeting. And you need to make sure that you're well prepared for every job interview so you have the best chance to convert it into a job offer. When you're looking for a new job, you don't want to lose any opportunity unnecessarily. The good news is, as a Career Change Club member, you have access to all the resources that can help you prepare great marketing documents, meaning your resume, cover letter, and LinkedIn profile, use the best job search strategies, and really prepare to convert your interviews into job offers. And of course, the Career Change Club also comes with a quick question coaching session where you can talk to me one-on-one -on -one to answer any questions that you have. So set realistic expectations for your job search and use the resources in this program to get the best job for you as quickly as possible.